I'm Lewis Spears. I'm supposed to be on break because I got these put on today, but check this out. Make some noise for hip hop history. History. So Dave Chappelle was attacked by an audience member at a recent Netflix event. I can only assume that it was the CEO trying to appease his employees. Don't worry guys, I know we gave him $60 million, but I tried to beat him up. Are you happy now? Will you please come to work? Halfway through the show, somebody rushed the stage and tackled Dave Chappelle. And at the moment, their motive hasn't come out. We don't know why they did this. We don't know what type of person they are. But looking at their form, I can absolutely tell you right now, they've never played sport in their life. That sucks. Terrible form. And Dave Chappelle's like an old guy, you know, and you couldn't even tackle him. And then you and then you couldn't even escape and run away from his security team. Granted, you were being chased by about 20 people, but still, you know, really poor form here. And when I tell you that man got caught by security, what I really mean is he was trampled by 16 rhinoceroses that they must have had backstage. Look at this guy. Look at the aftermath of this. This is what happens when you rush the stage. People think that you're just going to have a fight with the dude on stage. You're not. You're going to have a fight with every single person that guy brought to pull off the show. And let me tell tell you from experience, that's about 10 people minimum. It's not going to be a fun time for you. Do not rush stages. It's not going to end well for you. Man, my teeth hurt a lot. Not as much as this- Ow! Man, my teeth hurt a lot. Not as much as this guy's arm, but still, I am in pain. Even Dave Chappelle, who's one of the best comedians we have right now, stopped performing to get a few kicks in backstage. I've been doing this 35 years. I just stomped the nigga backstage. <laughs> always wanted to do that. He's back there getting stomped. And that's the type of sentence only a man with tens of millions of dollars can afford to say. Because that's basically like, yeah, I'm going to pay a lot of money for this. We are beating the fuck out of him backstage, but it's worth the money. It's worth the lawsuit. Even Jamie Foxx got a few punches in here. Shout out to Jamie Foxx, by the way. Jamie! Jamie, where you at? Jamie, 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 hold up. I thought that was part of the show. I don't know what the fuck is... I, I, I grabbed the back of that nigga's head. His hair was spongy. <laughs> Like, really, what happens when you rush the stage is every single person who knows the main act and also probably a few audience members and the security team and all of the people that work the venue, they're going to get a few shots in because every single person who works at events has looked at that one drunk guy ruining the show and gone, oh, if only he rushed the stage so I could get a few punches in. Every single person who works at a venue, works in live entertainment, really wants to hit someone in the audience every Every show. You don't want to give them a reason. Because if you do give performers and their security team a reason, you're not only going to get punished for your actions, you're also going to cop it for all of the other shows where we didn't take action. Every You're going to get one punch for every dickhead that was filming during the show. You're going to get kicked in the stomach for every time there was that one annoying dude in meet and greet who wouldn't leave people alone. You're going to get stomped on the toes because of that one person who stood up during the show and yelled some shit out and we didn't kick them out and then we regretted it. You're going to cop it for every single person who disrupts the show and it's all going to come down on you and cop it he did this man was loaded into an ambulance looking like he just got beaten up in a cartoon like this is it looks like he just got kicked out of a dust cloud <laughs> You know, like he is just absolutely fucked up, as he should be. This is not something that we should tolerate. It's not something that we should deal with or treat lightly. Like if you rush the stage to hurt someone, that's what's going to happen to you. I know I'm being very anti don't assault the comedian, but maybe that's just because I have braces and I really have heaps to lose if you punch me. You know, like two weeks ago, if you punch me, it might hurt a little bit. If you punch me now, it's going to alter the course of my life. I also don't think it's a good idea to be punching people in front of billionaires. You know? You know, Elon Musk was there, so you're kind of lucky you weren't vaporized from space. You know, like, you know he pulled out that button that he hasn't told anyone that he has to just kind of give you an aneurysm. <laughs> and people are like, oh, he died. How did that happen? And, and everyone's like, oh, we have no idea. But the FBI texts Elon Musk and goes, hey, dude, don't do that again, okay? That's secret tech. You're, you're working on that for us. You're not allowed to use it for yourself. Chris Rock ended up jumping on stage and saying this. <laughs> Was that Will Smith? And that's the silver lining, really. Chris Rock was not saying anything about Will Smith at all. He was saying, if you want me to talk about Will Smith, you're either going to have to give me $30 million for a comedy special or punch my good friend Dave Chappelle. Speaking of the Will Smith incident, do you remember when all of the comedians were coming out and saying, hey, we shouldn't applaud Will Smith for doing this and this is absolutely terrible and it's uh, really bad that no repercussions happened on the night for Will because this encourages this sort of behavior. 
behavior. And then a lot of other people came out and said, oh, comedians are being pussy and, and obviously this isn't going to encourage it. And look, I don't think it's necessarily going to encourage it. Will Smith going up on stage and hitting people and nothing happening to it. I don't think it's really going to encourage it. But I do think that it at least puts that option in people's minds of like, oh, if I don't like a comedian, I don't have to just leave or yell out at the show. I can actually just get on stage and hit them and nothing will happen to me. Um, Unfortunately, this guy who did it found out very quickly that he's not Will Smith. But I do think it's, you know, kind of uh, ironic that all these people were saying, oh, comedians are overreacting and they're acting scared and pussy. This would obviously wouldn't encourage it. And then what? Two months later, someone jumps on stage and does that shit for real. I also think it's ridiculous to like start with Dave Chappelle. Like, what are you assaulting him for? If you want to punish people for making transphobic jokes, go to an open mic. There's no security. None of the jokes are even funny. And to be honest, a lot of those open micers, they need the boost. You know, Dave Chappelle doesn't need the publicity of getting tackled on stage. He's Dave Chappelle. Some little open micer, you know, he could he could benefit from a black eye. Even they would say that. If I Back when I was doing open mics, if someone attacked me on stage, I'd be like, oh, thank God, I really need to sell tickets. Finally, a headline. I'm struggling here. That is obviously a joke. Don't fucking assault comedians, all right? You will get fucked up by every comedian there. It's just silly. It's just a stupid thing to do. Rushing the stage and attacking a performer for doing what they do is crazy. If you don't like them, don't buy tickets. Speak out against them online. Don't attend the show. Leave the show. If you see a joke that you really, really think is terrible and you're not enjoying it, leave the show. I genuinely have no problem with people walking out during shows and neither does any comedian ever. If you stand up and be disruptive or or even worse, rush the stage, you're going to get fucked up and that's what you deserve. This is insane, uh, and uh, I hope this guy, you know, gets what he deserves. Actually, I think he already did get that, but uh, jail time too? I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, my teeth really hurt. So that might be why there's more of an angry tone to this video. You know, maybe I'm not actually upset at all about this incident. Maybe I'm just very annoyed at how much my teeth hurt. <laughs> I'm going to go continue my break. Um subscribe goodbye this video is sponsored by me loosebeers.com get yourself some merch how cool is this thing all right death threats don't scare me brand new super cool hoodie it's on the website there's also a bunch of other alpha energy stuff i also do signed posters hand signed they're incredible you should get one right now loosebeers.com my dog she loves them Check out the dog. You can't buy her on the website, but, uh, you know, if you break into my house, she'll rip your face off. So that's that's an option. Don't do that. Just buy a T-shirt or a hoodie or a poster from loosebeers.com. Thanks for supporting what I do. Braces are so goddamn expensive. Please, please buy something. <laughs>